Hello everyone, I've got an example for you uh, regarding Sony Vegas in the event that you have a need to downsize HD footage to SD footage, specifically regarding a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Uh, in the past you've been able to export uh, HD footage to a SD format uh, and retaining a 16 by 9 aspect ratio only by exporting it as an MPEG. An MPEG would be suitable for something that would be burned in a industry standard uh, DVD burning application where you'd like to retain a 16 by 9 aspect ratio uh, to be recorded to a DVD for playback on TV. Uh, a lot of the times when you're rendering footage from Sony Vegas, uh, HD footage specifically to down convert to an SD footage format. Um, maybe you need to transcode it multiple times, send it back and forth to varying uh, editing applications, and then finally have a product that's suitable for uh, composition and burning to a uh, deliverable DVD format. People that have tried this in the past have realized that they can only export in the MPEG format from Sony Vegas and retain that 16 by 9 aspect ratio. I'm going to open Vegas here and uh, show you the example of what I speak about. I've got uh, some sample footage. I'm going to pull that up here. And what I've got is a TS file that's been captured off of a uh, HD PBR. Captured at uh, 720p and um, in the 16 by 9 ratio. You'll notice up top of this footage, it has a little bit of uh, black area, a little bit on the side, and that's the way the capture device captures. It overscans and ends up capturing a little bit of area that contains no data. We can fix that by going into event pan and crop and tell it to not maintain its aspect ratio. And to get rid of that, basically we're going to upscale this by holding control, and we're going to scale that up just a little bit until that black area is gone. Okay. All right, so it's gone now. I'm going to pick an area here. Let's say, let's trim this down to this area, and we'll move forward a little bit to this area. Okay, we're going to just use this for an example piece of footage here. I'm going to move to the front of the timeline. Let's play that back. I have what I feel is an unquenchable all right we're going to trim that even further just for a small sample all right you can see that we're natively in the 1280 by 720 aspect ratio or resolution while retaining our 16 by 9 aspect ratio for example if I want to downscale this entire clip and export it to an AVI file maybe that I would need to continue editing if I choose render as and I leave it at the default settings or I could do I could do something of this nature custom frame size 720 by 480 and render this just to the desktop as is you can see an, an issue already occurring here where we're crunched inward and um, not quite retaining the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So let's take a view at this. And you can see how that rendered that. Even though our settings were 720 by 480. Now, some might say that, well, that's because you've not chosen an aspect ratio. Well, that's partially true. So let's go into the properties for this project. And we're at square pixel ratio. And let's let's go one step further. Let's change it here to 720 by 480, and let's pick a 16 by 9 widescreen aspect ratio. We're going to apply that. We look good here, but let's go ahead and give this a render again. Make sure that we've got our project settings as we'd like. 720 480. 
Okay, 16 by 9. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and render this as a different video file. You can see we're still having the issue where we're seeing it while we're rendering it as a slightly distorted 4 by 3 aspect ratio. Let's take a look at that. And you can see that changing that didn't fix our problem. So, what's the solution? Here's what we need to do. If we're going to render to anything, any other format other than MPEG, we need to tell the properties here to render it as 720 by 408. We need to have square pixels selected. Click apply. Okay. So now when we go to render, render as, let's check our parameters again, square pixels, 720 by 408, enter OK, and we'll give this a number 3 name. You can see in our renderer we're not distorted, and when this completes we'll take a look at it. All right. So here's our third one, and you can see that now it is properly scaled without any distortion for the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Now if we pull the properties on this and get the media info, you'll see that we are at 16 by 9 aspect ratio, whereas our first one, If we pull the media info on that, you'll see that we are at a 3-2 aspect ratio. Although, this one here, we did not set our uh, flags in the default uh, render setting for Sony Vegas. But the second one, remember we did, we changed it to digital video 16 by 9 widescreen. So here's this one. Still crunched. Let's view the properties on that and get the media info. And you can see that even though we set the flags properly in Vegas, it gave us the improper display aspect ratio when we rendered out to AVI. So just remember that if you ha ever have a need for downsizing your footage from HD footage to SD footage, and you want to retain that aspect ratio, that you need to go into your properties and tell its width to be 720, its height to be 408, and you need to make sure that you've selected the square pixel aspect ratio. So... I hope that helps anybody that may have had an issue uh, and we're looking for a solution. So if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more in the future, remember to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.